While touring prisons in Texas, former venture capitalist Catherine Hoke learned that 70% of the children of incarcerated people end up in prison too. She created Defy Ventures to break that cycle. Defy Ventures helps develop the entrepreneurial aptitude many inmates already have and redirects them toward creating legal businesses and careers so they don't return to prison and their kids never go. We are a level four maximum security prison. We house men that have had difficulty programming in other institutions, um, typically serving long-term sentences and have behavioral problems. Many people out of prison cannot get a job. Employers don't want to hire somebody who has a criminal history. Yet so many incarcerated people are natural born entrepreneurs. They just misdirected their skill sets to start illegal businesses. What would happen if they were equipped to go legitimately with their skills? Defy Ventures transforms the hustle of people with criminal histories. We start inside prison, we provide them with the skills and the tools and the network, and we reshape their thinking through a program called CEO of Your New Life. But it's not just entrepreneurship, it's also healing and personal growth and the character development. We want them to rise up to their full potential as entrepreneurs and as community leaders and as parents. Catherine made a presentation at a warden's meeting and uh, after listening to her, I said, that's something I'd like to have at my institution. It's not like any other program we have there. Some of the most difficult inmates to manage can most benefit from these type of innovative programs. Because of the history of extreme violence here, they were really worried about having more than 20 of their incarcerated men in the same space at any time. In this first graduating cohort across the three yards, we have about 80 guys, but now we're about to get to start serving 200. All the inmates actually could come together of all different races, um, ethnic backgrounds, um, gang affiliations, and actually treat each other as equals, watching them hug each other, put stickers on each other's shirts, and uh, cheer each other on. Um, we had never seen that before here. I've seen tremendous changes and uh, the inmates that are participating in it. Today, we have their big finale, the business pitch competition, and then the graduation. I am now motivated, passionate, and determined to start and run a successful business. I'm here today asking for a $20,000 investment in my food truck company, Infusion. What I'm asking for today is $3,000 to add to my $32,000, my personal investment. They want that new and exciting alternative to what other catering services offer. And that is what I'm offering them with Homestyle. Thank you. They have completed 100 courses, and today they're earning their Baylor University MBA program certificate. For some of those men, is the biggest accomplishment of their entire lives. 